In question number eight, a student has obtained interference pattern using yellow color of light. And we are supposed to tell two methods by which we could increase separation between the fringes. So we know that the fringe width is given by the expression beta is equals to lambda d by a small d. All the symbols, they have the usual meaning. As the yellow light is used, and hence the value of lambda is fixed. Now, the value of beta could be increased by increasing capital D and by decreasing a small d. In part B of the problem, a student, a student has obtained interference pattern using yellow light and expectedly the source of light is placed on the perpendicular bisector. This is a perpendicular bisector of the sources S1 and S2. The question is, what will happen if this source S is shifted slightly upwards? Answer to this question is, when the source S is slightly shifted upwards, then the whole fringe pattern, the whole fringe pattern will shift downwards. Let's justify it. When the source S was at the perpendicular bisector, then there is no initial path difference and the overall path difference Delta X is equals to S2P minus S1P relation number one. When source S is slightly shifted upwards, then there is initial path difference as well. And hence, the overall path difference as the waves meet at point P should be given by Delta X dash is equals to S S2 plus S2P minus S S1 minus S1P as written over here. It could be written as delta x dash equals to S S2 minus S S1 plus S2P minus S1P. This quantity is identified as initial path difference. Let the value of initial path difference be equals to small a. Further, let's assume there is nth bright fringe at point P. In that case, path difference got to be equals to n lambda and the value of this term s2p minus s1p should be given by xn d upon capital d this term can further be rewritten as xn d by capital d equals to n lambda minus a small a i guess you still remember this term has been chosen to be a small a next part this could be rewritten as xn is equals to n lambda capital D by small a minus a capital D by small d. Let's substitute n is equals to 0. For this case, this relation will change to x0 is equals to minus a capital D by small d. This clearly suggests that the central bright fringe has shifted downwards. Now, as the central bright fringe has shifted downward, in fact, the whole fringe pattern has shifted downwards. In part C of the problem, we are supposed to compare distance between the central and the first maxima and the distance between the second and third maxima. You see, we already know that the separation between any two consecutive bright fringes or the dark fringes equals to fringe width. And hence, distance between the central and the first maxima to distance between the second and the third maxima should be given by beta is to beta. This is by definition and hence the ratio should be 1 is to 1. 